what's going on? It's your girl Tracy Shay coming to you from Black Butterfly. And this is for the Twin Flames today. I'm gonna get the Twin Flame vibes. When I think of Twin Flames, I think of my my hearts that I found. It's like here's a heart and here's a heart. Yeah, no, I'm a gardener, so you find cute things. So here's a heart and here's a heart, and then here's both hearts inside of inside of it. So this is my twin flame. Things. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and start there. What's going on in connection? What's changing? I definitely feel like a lot of communication is wanting to come in. Uh, I definitely feel like you have a, a new perception, perspective on this matter, on the situation. Like, it could be worse. Um, yeah, I definitely said communication is coming in. We have the heart, the throat chakra coming out, and it supports our ability to communicate clearly and truthfully and I definitely feel like some stuff is coming over my throat chakra as near speaking so there's definitely some communication that's going to happen um that's going to be truthful and clear so you're going to receive some clarity that you know that you've been, you've been wanting some authentic truth okay the energy of our things Authenticity supports our choice to be genuine and truthful in all aspects of our lives with others as well as with ourselves. So, yeah, this is the time that the twin flame who is being called to one of you are being called to be still and one of you are being called to make the move. I feel like more so the divine masculine energy is being called to make the move. Um, have a place of energies wherever it goes in your story. Um, yeah, they're coming in genuine this time. They're coming in to tell you the truth. They're coming in to risk it all, to bury it all, because they really do uh, want a new, a new beginning. They really do want a fresh start. They really want to come in authentically now and start this, this friendship. <laughs> They want to build a friendship. If I was your best friend, I want you around all the time. Can you be my best friend? They want to be best friends. Like, they want to be friends. They want to be lovers. They want to come in. They want to feel safe and know that, you know, really, y'all, it could it could be worse. You know, the enemy was really, really, really trying and fighting to keep the twin friends from coming together. And if that has told you that you're not coming together then it's someone better for you so you know that's great it raised a soulmate you know it raised what's best for you but the divine masculine is ready to honor this soul truth this soul connection and be authentic and be present come into this 3d physical build this relationship build this friendship because of this attraction because of your connection this is something spiritual this is something this is the big mission here on earth that you all have okay and it's and you guys are and you have to be separated so you could have the qualities that attract and support the mission you didn't have that inner balance and harmony so you have to be separated you have to go through the trials and the tribulation you have to connect back to your soul and get present, okay? And you both have to do that individually so you can come together. And now you are coming together. Mm -hmm. And it's because you surrendered this 435, this connection over to God. <laughs> you use your third eye to see beyond the veil, to see beyond the illusions, to see beyond the tactics of the enemies and, and the enemy's disciples, you know. So you may be seeing um, 33, 666, um, 
but you you are definitely receiving an insight and intuitive ability since you could be having telepathy going on with your twin flame at this time too but know that this is a season where you guys are growing into more intimacy it probably wasn't the connection wasn't intimate it was probably a lot of 5d um conversation 5d communication but now it's coming into the 3d and it's because you remain strong you remain in your strength and your power divine feminine you you were healing you were growing you had completely surrendered it okay and that's why you are attracting your divine masculine that's why you guys are coming into union uh five four three okay that's why you are operating in duality because you have surrendered this connection and your surrender is what's attracting this twin flame to you your beauty your beauty your peace you, your aura your new fragrance you just being you you just staying true to who you are authentic okay so now this is leading you to a fresh start okay <laughs> because you have grace which supports our smooth adaption to and anticipation of life's currents and changes as we evolve toward a higher version of ourselves on this earthly plane, bridging the divine with the human essence. Again, 66, you had, y'all had like a lot of telepathy. Y'all had like a lot of um, 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 5D communication and connection, you know, and that wasn't really fulfilling you know but you stay strong and you stay in your, with your connection with god and you got insight and you reflected on that insight and you realize that you know it's no need to to, to take control over anything God has it all working together for your good. So what's, what's intended to harm you, what was intended to block your, your connection, block your mission, only led to curiosity, which supported your intrinsic, exclusive nature. It, was, it just allows you to, type, to dive deeper into your purpose and to want to know more about life. Why is all this happening to you? Like, why are you such a target? Because you are so powerful. Because you are highly ranked in the spiritual world. Okay? Because it's a, another driving force behind this relationship. That has nothing to do with you. Okay? This is a romance club. This is destined. This is true. Okay? A frequency of romantic love supports our experience to know ourselves through the reflection of a conscious lover, twin flame. Who else is going to be a reflection of you? Your twin flame. Okay? And now you have some time to go within and see that you both are chosen for these, for their scenes. Okay? And you guys are answering the call at this time. I'm going to get a message from the chosen one. Do you have a message? So spend time alone because you, you are an empath and you are Jesus ascended and you were underestimated, but you are God's ambassador. So you had to deal with trauma. Okay. And now you're experiencing deja vu moments, deja vu memories about this connection, which is c continuing to lead to your DNA upgrade. So again, but people try to to use to intend it to harm you, your traumas, or or um, trying to um, sow seeds of doubt and, and victimhood in your mind, um, get readings on you and, and stuff. It only led to a DNA upgrade, but you do need to sense your space and continue to cleanse your energy because you are a light worker and you were born to be a legend. You and your twin flame, okay? So it's gonna be judgment day for your enemies who tried you. Okay, but you have got this God energy, so don't worry. Just wake up and do what you were supposed to do and honor this mission, okay? They're going to regret messing with you all, okay? Because you all have ancient divine blood, and you're going through this rebirth. This time, this go around is going to be for good, okay? So trust it. Trust in God. Trust these blessings, okay? I'm going to 
going to get a message from the uh, back your blessings and see what's going on. Allow yourself the sure delight of seeing nature through the eyes of a child. Several of these simple moments of wonder, okay? In the moment. It's not for you to be in the moment, okay? Um, Tiger will be removed so fast you might not notice him. When things are happening at the speed of life, slow down, take it all in, and be in the moment. Okay, like a child is always in the moment, just embracing the beauty, embracing um, the gifts, embracing everything that's going on. It's time for you to embrace the new beginnings. Be, <laughs> we can birth the new things, okay? You're having a fresh start, okay? So it's time for you to show your true colors and collaborate, you and your twin flame, collaborate, okay? And know that the delicate butterfly's wings are like tiny windows reflecting all the beauty it encounters. Let your words and actions be a window to goodness in your heart. You're receiving your good karma, okay? This is transforming. This relationship is transforming. You are creating something beautiful, okay? Because you change your perspective, it's why you're receiving this destiny. And I'm here to let you know. So you can trust that, okay? And be, and you can say yes to this opp opportunity. You can anticipate that this is, this is um, everything in divine timing, okay? And it was about the progress. It was about getting you to this point to be able to accept this mission, to be able to receive these deja vu memories, to be able to know that you can boldly shine your true colors. And that there's nothing ordinary about you. Show the world your wild, your wildest ideals and sh ideas and shine your brightest colors. Get to dazzle. It's time for you to dazzle. It's time for y'all to dazzle. It's time for y'all to collaborate. That is your destiny. This your plane. Mission is your destiny. Okay. <laughs> it is going to be full of luck. Okay. Full of blessings. Okay. So get outside and follow your fate. Hop to it. One, two, two, one. Anything else? <laughs> it's time to make a move. It's time to make a move. And trust your intuition. Go out and build your, in your community. Do what God has told you to do using your gifts and your assignment. And, and the communication is coming in. Divine masculine energy. Whoever has to communicate is coming in. You, the person who who have all the tools and resources you need to discover new things and put them to use, it's time for you to think beyond ordinary solutions. Okay? Shine your light. You are a light being. Express yourself. And know that it all starts with your thoughts. What are you expecting to see? in this relationship what are you expecting to see from this um connection okay anything from Tyler Holy Spirit mm -hmm. focus on what you're expecting to see because whatever you focus on you let it manifest the opportunities because you're right on track at this time you are a wise soul and a practical strategist so know your motives and anticipate a successful outcome before you make a move, keep it cool, okay? But it's one of these victories, so that's what that's what the right masculine is doing, okay? They had to wait on the right opportunity, they had to focus, they had to anticipate because they didn't want to come when it wasn't ready, okay? Because they had to go through the screen and upgrade, so they probably they may have gotten a reading on the situation to get more clarity so they can see things from a different perspective and know that this really is that destiny that you are really are supposed to shine together that you two really are free spirits okay and you are abundance okay and not only in monetary and financial gains but also in all things health relationships career and family this is a blessed union and it's coming together you guys are going to shine just take caution and remember don't be afraid it's going to be people who try to come up against y'all but it's safe for you to say yes yes 
Trust the inner power inside of you and trust your inner wisdom. Trust what, what spirit is leading you to do. If it's for you, you will know. If it's not, you will know. Some of you guys are embracing soulmates at this time. Okay? Divine, divine counterparts. Okay? But it is a change in direction that's coming. So, again, you have clearance to say yes. So, hold, have the space for it. Okay? And remember to bring in positive, fresh energy. So continue to cleanse, okay? Now it's the time to act, though, okay? It, it is necessary and inevitable at this time, okay? Trust your intuition. It's been alerting you about this change, okay? You have been manifesting this, okay? It's happening. It's happening. You guys are growing. There is a spacious energy around you, okay? This is a good time to learn to develop new ideas, new ways of doing things, break away from old, unhealthy habits, and step out of your comfort zone. Your reward is ahead, okay? Whoever needs to, to communicate, stepping out of the comfort zone, uh, seeking the truth, getting that moon energy, that insight, being strong, having courage, being confident at this time. They're moving forward and resisting temptations at this time, okay? Refusing to be a victim, knowing that they are free because they have changed their perspective, because they have went within, because they know who they are. They are cleansed. They have cleansed, okay? And now this is leading to a beautiful lover and partnership. Best friends. If you were my best friend. So open up your heart to love and live in the moment with passion and exuberance. Indulge in the happy harmony, a great partnership, and be happy. Okay, I believe that's all I have. I will get one message from the Divine um, Wise Women. Let me see what they have to say. What things do you have to say? Wise Women about this twin flame union and this connection. Our intuition knows more than we do. Trust your intuition. It knows everything that's going on, which you may not see. Know that your intuition is leading you in the right direction, okay? You may be seeing the number three. Three may be an important number to you. Again, forgive, forgive, forgive so you can receive. Hurt blocks our light, okay? That, that's why you weren't able to receive because you're, you're, you were in misalignment. You were full of confusion. You were going in circles and circles and circles. But you had to learn to love yourself, okay? You had to be vulnerable. You had to be strong. You had to in, in, integrate all of yourself, all of all of um, everything, all of your experiences, okay? You had to tame those. You had to deal with them, okay? And you had to love them, embrace them, and heal from them so you can be molded into this beautiful person that you are now who is now ready to receive this love because you love yourself now you can love one another okay and you and through and though you didn't you didn't have have them in a physical you still had love for them you still were sending those prayers up you still held them down what what was absent in the presence of your love you still held that space for in your heart and and miracles are now becoming normal for you because you are you were seeing things as if it was the first thing every time now you have changed this perspective and now you are able to to use your voice and now you know that you in your twin flame are here to be known and to speak and to be seen and to serve something bigger to yourself and to be humanitarian and to work together for the greater good, okay? To honor your emotions, okay? With with appropriate attention, action, and gratitude. Know that you are awareness, okay? And knowing that you don't have to trust the tricksters anymore, okay? It's going to be judgment day for your enemies who came for this communion, this... <laughs> connection, this commitment, this uh, covenant, this sacred union, okay? Home is where the heart is, and your twin flame is where your heart is. And that's the truth. That's radical honesty, okay? So I know that you're protecting and your union is protected with the armor of God, okay? Okay? 
you were being manipulated, you were being confused, but now the mask for the ones who are behind behind the tricks and tactics are being melted away and you're seeing it and you're also allowing your spirit self to shine through no matter what and you are honoring the many roles you fulfill okay knowing that you embrace and you do what's best for you you love you are the eternal gatekeeper okay asserting and protecting what is right for you two three one Okay, honoring your intentions, okay? No longer being confused. No longer playing life as a pawn to someone else's game of chess. Believing in yourself, believing in what God has told you, okay? Using your creative power, releasing your alchemical energy into the world, being a light, being a light worker, supporting yourself, supporting your community, supporting others. Okay, knowing that you are limitless when you guys come together and you can transcend. Okay, and you are transcending. Anything else from the spirit? 21, 12. Last one. And this is the key to intimacy. Believing and trusting in yourself. Having this pride for self-acceptance. Okay? You are perceived the way you perceive yourself. And you loving yourself. You honoring yourself. You letting go of control. You surrendering this connection. This is the key to intimacy with you first and foremost. And then with, well, you and God first and foremost. You and yourself after that. And then you and your twin flame. And you letting go. You surrendering. You loving yourself. You, you, you embracing your truth, okay? You allowing for this DNA upgrade, divine feminine energy, okay? It's bringing in this luck. It's bringing in this wish fulfillment. It's bringing in this completeness, okay? Your twin flame is about to make a move, and you can't anticipate that, okay? Okay? So, again, trust your intuition. Know that he, your twin flame is coming home. Your soulmate, your connection is perfect. Perfect pairing partners, um, 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 God, 22-22, God-ordained relationships are coming together. And it's because you love yourself. It's because you are creating something beautiful in your own life for your own self. And that is, and that is radiating. That is radiating, okay? You are being true to who you are authentically, okay? Just looking at life from higher sights, okay? Loving yourself, loving your twin flame, being strong, being vulnerable with yourself, with the God, and knowing, like, everything is happening for your good. Even if you don't come together, you still heal. You still have learned so much from this. So even if you're, if God's, plan is not for you all to come together but just to support one another as friends which you be my best friends but i do see a lot of you want to come into union as well but just having that honoring that emotion and listening to the messages from those emotions with appropriate attention action and gratitude and just knowing like regardless of how the outcome comes the journey has been a blessing Okay, because you were able to see things, you were able to gain insight that you wouldn't have gained if you weren't connected, if you didn't have this experience, okay? Yes, there were temptations, yes, there were a lot of conflicts without it, but now it's a time for new beginnings for those who want to embrace that because that the you you both are free. You both are free. You both are free to express yourself. Okay, to build community, to grow together, to evolve together, and that is the truth. That is what the light is being shown on. So you can melt your mask of fear now, okay, because there's power in your vulnerability. There's power in your truth speaking, okay? There's power in this love, okay? And there's power in forgiveness, forgiving, two, four, three, 